Well, I'm doing a little research for uh, the uh, Crow Indian piece that I've got at the uh, studio. And I'm looking at Border Collies, not because that's the type of dog that would be in the camp. I'm looking at Border Collies only because I want to get the stance, uh, the on-the-alert type stance. Uh, that uh, I want to get with this dog that I'm going to be sculpting. Here's a good picture of one. That's a good stance, but not threatening or being threatened. Let's see if I can find a better one. I had a friend of mine suggest that. That I... Oh, here we go. That's a nice one. Um, there's a real good one. Wow. Yeah. I'll save that picture. Anyway, uh, I'm looking more for the pose now. The type of dog that more than likely would be in an Indian camp would be something called a camp dog. That's actually a breed. And they're related genetically to dogs, wild dogs over in Australia. Fascinating. I understand from my friend that uh, dogs are descendant of four different breeds. That uh, everything else has been bred into them. Which is interesting. So anyway, that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to uh, work on the dog. Uh, probably the first of next week. I just need to get all my... Stuff ready to go so I can do that. It's warmed up here. It's uh, come out of the mid, the sub-zero weather up to the, uh, you know, we're 15 degrees right now, which is, you know, shirt sleeve weather. But, uh, yeah, that's a good picture right there. There's another good one. All right, well, that's it. I'm just filling in what's going on.